Hey everybody, Silver Shadow Gaming here, and we're back with some more Little Misfortune. Uh, the first video, I ain't gonna lie, was pretty messed up. Because I didn't know half of the shit I was getting into with this game. And that's the thing, is... There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign and hmm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yeah. Yeah. Listen to this one. Both hanging too low. Oh what my god. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a woman <coughs> of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. Alright. <laughs> nice poems. Real nice poem. What, what, what the hell? The seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Too bad you don't have any fish to offer the seagull. They love fish, you know. Are you trying to make me feel guilty about the fish from earlier? I made a hard decision back there, and I stand behind it. I understand, Miss Fortune. I'm just saying. Well, stop saying. Well, no matter what decision I make, there's a consequence. Would you like to ride the royal halls of the park? I would. I Why absolutely I would. I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I horsey. Stop it. Boy. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> <sighs> that was unfortunate. Are you alright? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. <laughs> She's so adorable in the most weirdest kind of way. <laughs> but yeah, the last video was... Uh, uh, Check out that bag. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Is he smoking? Can you show me some of your dance moves. Show your dance skills. Yeah. Well, let's. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. That was normal. Oh, if you say so. <laughs> is that is that duck smoking what I think he's smoking? <laughs> what is this game, man? Would you like to write this one? It's like a tornado. Yes. Yes, I want to write. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, misfortune. Oh, <laughs> There's another one of these dolls. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smash against the stone. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Mm, hey. Apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. <laughs> what? What? What the hell? How? How this come every? Like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. Really? All right. 
I'm going to ask you guys a question, and you guys could f feel free to answer down below, but do you guys honestly trust the narrator? I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. Why am I glad you feel the same way? <laughs> and how come every uh citizen I ran into is wearing one of those white masks? They kind of remind me of the mask from uh. So I was thinking while we're walking. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. I'm pretty good at answering questions. Ooh, right. What questions? Just answer as honestly as you can. <laughs> First question, have you ever stolen anything? Uh, yeah? I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question, are you happy right now? I mean, I guess so. <laughs> yes. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Uh... <laughs> I... I guess so. I mean... Yeah? I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. But the the masks that the people are wearing kind of remind me of the ones from High Rise Invasion, that the Netflix anime show, which is really good. Who's Check it? this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay, nice. I have a hard time trusting the narrator Where right now. Find the prize of eternal happiness. Yeah, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. So the goldfish. Alright. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No. Use the shovel. What okay. Shovel? This shovel. I feel like I'm. I feel like he's gonna make me. Okay. I feel like he's gonna make me dig my own grave. This one says, "Dig deep, dig 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 deep, Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> no. L and Little Lulu sounds I scary. Think this is the fish. L Little Lulu sounds scary, I won't even lie. Mm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm, erotic novel? Talk about crazy! No. Nah, this is obviously a cat. It said, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in pool. Yeah, yikes forever. No. Nah, I don't think so. Uh. Wait, do fish eat poo? Do they? Let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> no, that is not uh, our grave. I don't think so. I'll keep looking. <laughs> what is this game, man? It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. But you never specified that that was a fish or not. Nah, too little information. Where are you going? The graves are waiting for you. Oh, really? I'm okay. so sure. Little lady. Let's keep digging. So it's one of these graves, and if I had to guess... It said, Paul died doing what he loved. 
It's simple. Yeah, yikes for us. I, I know dogs do that, but do fish? Or do you even? Mm, I don't think so. Or apparently it's rumored that I I don't know. I know there's an animal that eats That's poo. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> That's not the grave. It, no, I don't think this is the fish. If I had to guess, it, it would probably be this one over here. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance. Uh, no price in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Hmm. Stephanie? Hmm. Erotic novel? Talk about crazy! I'll dig every grave. You know what? I think I might just go ahead and dig every grave. Uh, no price. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. I like how she doesn't even question it. It could be this one now that I think about it. Ooh, smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. Don't tell me it's the Mr. Bubbles one. That would be too obvious. And as far as this game went. Nothing has been that easy. Ah, uh, let's say Roger the Magpie. Huh, I don't. Ah, uh, no prize in here. Maybe it was the Mr. Balls of Light. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. Tomb Lady. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Mm -hmm. Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. I it stole your right? eternal I happiness, Benjamin. Benjamin. What? Oh. Yes, it says. I stole your eternal <laughs> happiness. Sign, Benjamin. Oh my God. Benjamin, my eternal. I knew the fox was in trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. That has to sting. <gasps> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool! Oh, what the hell? Come on, Benjamin! Give me back my happiness! Run after him! We can't let the fox get away again! He stole your prize! Benjamin really disappointed me! I don't know, I still don't trust the narrator more than I don't trust a fox. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. These are clues! <sighs> Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. <laughs> These are clues. I don't know. I I don't know. I, d I do not know. I, I don't know whether to trust the fox or the narrator because... We keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. I, they know how to hide. All right. Is it just me or do you guys not trust the narrator as well? Like... Who, who do you trust? The oh, fox or the narrator? The it's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Wait, I didn't even read the words. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. 
I probably should have read the words before I took that piece. Oh well. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. Does he? He sounds more sus than anything. I why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. Oh. I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Yo, I'm actually invested in this story. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm, I'm really... That was a pretty big fall. It looked Hello. like a big fall. Mr. Voice, are you there? Okay, we're just gonna keep going. Sweet, I found a little... Uh, Sweet. Then, I dropped it. <laughs> she is so adorable in the most weirdest darkest way possible <laughs> i can't open the bottle sweet style i'll take it fox repellent oh. what is this game man this game oh, makes me question are. myself what are you doing benjamin oh shit No, we're not going to use it on Benjamin. Benjamin. I don't know. I, I have my opinions about the narrator, but I want to know what, what you have guys I think. Myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? <laughs> it's not natural. <laughs> Misfortune. You're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See? I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. I don't know, I still... I don't know, the, the narrator is... I, I don't know, this game's... Local artist GM retires after incident. My son is missing. Open fields blend it. Open fields is on fire. Bird invasion. We didn't win, but we have fun. <laughs> this game is just. Look, the zoo. You know, with the animals. I actually made a quick Google search. I found out that the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. See, doesn't that kind of like remind you of the masks from uh, High Rise Invasions? Because that's what they kind of look like. I mean, these masks are obviously oh, kind of more. How did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No. I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. <laughs> there. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Aww. Let's just keep 
going then? Why the? Hi, you look familiar. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Miss, um, wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, before I continue on, I just had to give my theory. I think the voice lures children to their death. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. People in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. I <laughs> that looks creepy. This guy right here is the creepiest thing in this whole game. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Did she just admit that her mom is a serial killer? Did she seriously just admit? Oh my god. Alcohol is a tool for relaxed communication. Alcohol is not a solution. Too much alcohol destroys your body. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? We're going to return it. Wait, sir. You dropped your wallet. What was that? This for me. A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? No. Oh, you win. You win. Oh, we go get it. Oh. Uh, no win. Maybe next time. So I can interact with these doors. One time, mommy took me here and forgot me. Oh. I was playing inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, that looks creepy. It says, let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. Why is this guy following me? Guys, uh, let me know if you agree with me about this narrator using his... Because I seriously do not know. Like I said, it's my first time. But based on how the narrator is acting and what clues I was able to gather up, this is just my opinion. I, I don't know if we're going to trust the voice or not, but I'm just saying. Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. See... Uh, this this is the thing mr. voice just say some sus shit right say, say something sus that is very suspicious just like that statement he just got done saying and the, that's why I base my opinion around in the, in the evidence the clues that I've been finding in this game here we are have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before no I haven't I'm not sure what to do do I need a ticket Let's find out. There's an information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. 
I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved and that Benjamin should be ashamed. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> she is so adorable. She really is. <laughs> she says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you need a bus ticket. You sound old. Oh, <laughs> I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. 20,000? Okay. These masks do look creepy. But I want to explore a bit more, so we're going to explore a little bit more. That street is called Dickens Road. Got it? Dickens Road. Excuse me? How dare you? Where is the puppy? Did you take the puppy? One should pet puppies, not take them in. Who knows what? I don't know. Do you? Really? Alright. What did it say? But, uh, that, that's just... It, like I said, this is my first time playing this game. It's just a theory that I had. Do as you please. Okay, thank you. It, it, it's just a theory. That's all. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're <laughs> a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile. And tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Free of regrets, free of self doubt, free of no, uh, free of harm. I thought that said free of no harm. Free of harm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. I didn't see any cows. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Room for your life, little baby cow! Uh, you things seem to happen all the time. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, oh. great. Oh my god, this game is not what I at all expected. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh? Didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm, I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store. <laughs> but I haven't got any kittens yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What? Diversion. Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. <laughs> oh my god. This game is not at all what I expected it to be. You want pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> but. Okay. Yeah, that. But that's just my little theory on the narrator, and as far as this game went and gone, I could be absolutely wrong. It could be that the narrator is secretly a good guy. They know about the missing children here. But I just have a hard time 
believe in that from all the sus things. Can I get inside for free? I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. <laughs> no tickets, only yucky. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rope or something. Like, we got... Like a stone. We hmm. got the slingshot. I think I came up with an idea. What if... Ooh. We're going to break the window. What if I break this window and make a hell of a noise? <laughs> wow. That's a wild idea, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> um We're going to get rid of Stony. Tickets to the zoo. Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. The look on her face. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. Alright. You want me to tell you something crazy? How did we not get caught? Because we stood there for a good minute looking at the broken window. <laughs> Give yourself a fuck. It says, Benam Nam Parrot. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates. Natural born thieves. Founders of the Liberation Front. Huh? Mean birdie Nam Nam. <laughs> Give yourself a fuck. That's what I'm gonna start saying to people Look, now. This bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on. <laughs> okay. This bird seems pretty smart. Trust me, it's not. How dare you read a book? That's not how you get smart. It said, Owl Delicious. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. A very hilarious bird. What is this? I feel offended by this bird. Don't be. It doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a <laughs> wait a minute. That bird just flipped me off. Fuck fuckadilius? Fuckadilius the shitus? What is this bird? Fuckadilius this shit you. These birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners leaving behind dysfunctional offspring they don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment oh really i didn't ex i didn't expect this much going into the game but 
This is a first. I never played a game where a bird actually flipped me off. That is the first. No, we're not going. Mom, I don't want to steal things, even if it's good for birds. I'm a little lady, you know. It's not what a little lady does. Simple as that. Okay. Okay, Miss Fortune. Actually, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and steal that from the way this game's been going. Because I want to feed the birds so they're not hungry. Can I actually feed them? Bird, come eat your food. I love you. Birda, birda. Come, Birda. Eat your food, Birda, Birda. Is your name Birda? <laughs> birda. <laughs> I think Bird is really pissed that I gave it food. There you go. Mm. Robert and Mary, are you enjoying the food? <laughs> you like it? Feeder. I got a trophy called the Feeder. So can I use my bird seeds to throw them at people too? Well, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. Oh, find the wolf area? Hold up. What what do they say? Wolf is at six. Great job. Let's hurry up now. You know, I'm feeling really annoyed, like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Hormones? No, <laughs> hormones. Ah, okay, what's that? Your body's preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. <laughs> Society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? <laughs> yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah, so much better. There are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also that Benjamin transform into a good foxy because I would totally go out on a date with him. If he <laughs> Are you doing that, you? Yeah. <laughs> This little girl, man, is the sweetest, most adorable little girl ever. Japanese, so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hira. But where does the ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. That is true. He might be jealous because he doesn't have ghosts. Sweet flashes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. I like the way she pronounces certain words. It's just so. This looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Vargan wolf. There, there's a polar bear. Oh my! Looks like this area is closed to the public. Ah, oh, damn it. You have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Wait, isn't her back already turned to me? The bear in the picture is sucking a popsicle. 
It looks like it's strawberry flavored. Mmm, yummy. Now I want a popsicle. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? <laughs> Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen like all of them. Don't you know me? <laughs> well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, alright then. It just looks a lot cooler on TV. Is she a crow? Ah, oh, damn it, my ninja move failed. So what happens, game over? by the law we should get out of here and find the wolf all right that lady was a crow and she didn't say anything is this normal for her safety rules for handling the big bad wolf if the wolf runs at you ready to attack um you shall not have any regrets about your life because you will most probably die. <laughs> so if I don't have regrets, the wolf will let me pet it? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we are locked inside. We need to find a key. Look around. All right. Maybe we can find a clue in the computer. Yeah, but it needs a password. I'll find it. Yeah, because we don't have it on us right now. Any keys inside the bucket? Nah. Anything inside the shoe? Inside, but you know, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Miss Fortune, focus. Okay, okay. I love that reference. Those buckets. Mm, look, I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep it. it. Okay. What are the numbers? What? Eight, six, four, five. Let's try it. Check out my computer skills. I bet the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. Don't interrupt me. I know what I'm doing. Keep quiet. Wait, is that eight and nine? Eight, nine, four, five? Shit. Five, four, nine, eight? Shit. Five, four, six, eight. Oh yeah, Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez is a computer scientist. You really surprise me. <laughs> a private shot. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Popsicle. Popsicle. Is that a code? <laughs> Talk about crazy. That is crazy. Sure, I'll read it. You, Ur Urania or Orwell? Hi, you there? Bladder boat. Yeah, I was in the toilet. You read Orwell? L O L O M G W T F X D. No, no, no need that info. Orwell, how's that ear infection? <laughs> oh my God, bladder boat. It's fine. Or well, super. We could talk some other time. Take care. Bladder boat. A censored lord. <laughs> Bladder boat. I forgot to tell you about. There's a spare key. Inside the safe. If you need it, sometime it opens all the doors and cages. Code two seven five eight one. Okay, I don't think I need it at the moment. I already have one, but thanks. Today, bladder boat, feeling much better? How's the bear doing? 
bear? Oh. Or well, it keeps sucking that popsicle. Is that normal? Bladder boat, I'm not sure, but I like to watch. Oh my god. Or L. LOL, gotta go fix Calvin's cage. Ugh. Oh no, we are locked in. We need to find a All right. Okay, it's time to find the key. Oh yeah, we already read that poster, didn't we? A secret inside? On the floor. Oh sh! The code's on the computer. What was the code? The code is. Where is the code? Twenty-seven fifty-eight one. Twenty-seven fifty-eight one. Twenty-seven fifty-eight one. So this will be two seven fifty-eight and one. Aha. The key to freedom. Misfortune, very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Time to find the wolf, and if we get lucky, I'll pet it. There's a wolf. Look, we found the wolf. Yes, and there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. I can reach it from here. See if you can get inside. You're gonna send a little eight-year-old girl to her death that didn't do nothing to you. Are you Benjamin Stuffing? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes? No? I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet-looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Uh, all right. Don't you tell me what to do, Mr. Voice. I'll do what I want. It says, Canis Lupus, also known as the Big Bad Wolf. His favorite snack is... Red hooded little girls? That's silly. Remember the missing children? Mm-hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. You think he's eating the children? Who knows? <gasps> You're right. We should call the cops on him. No, we don't want to get involved <laughs> with the police. Uh, okay. See, he says shit like that. That makes me really suspect him in this. Uh-huh. Time to meet the wolf. <laughs> come, Wolfie, come. <laughs> Let me pet you. I'm a nice person. <gasps> Wolfie? Ah, oh, damn it. What scared him away? Why can't a little lady suspect the wolf? Oh, that was unexpected. Not to me. Animals usually run away from me. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. What does the note say? It says. My evil cousin's address. Fox, Cook Stegan, 15. Open fields. It's Benjamin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. Alright, sweet. It looks like the mm -hmm. fastest way to the fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? It seems that way, yes. Sweet. I always wanted to go, yes! <laughs> <laughs> She's so adorable! She really is! <laughs> Are you up for another round of questions while we walk? Sure, my question answering skills are all warm up. Great, great. And, as usual, just be honest and you'll do fine. <laughs> First question. Have you ever heard this question before? I actually no. 
No. Ma, you mean this one? Yes, I have not heard that question before. All right. Second question. Have you ever lied to a friend? I have. I do it all the time in school. Charlene still believes my daddy comes and picks me up after school. Oh my god. The tree and sneak home <laughs> when she's not watching. That's so sad. That is sad. Uh, that's now, terrible. For the last question, have you ever seen someone die? I have not. Other than in ninja movies? No. They die in funny ways in ninja movies. Don't tell mommy. I won't. Thank you for your honesty again, Miss Fortune. You're welcome. We're getting really close to Phantasmagoria now. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. Alright guys, I'm in the video here, this game's honestly been something that I am definitely not expecting, or was expecting, uh, but this game is so fun, and so dark, and so messed up, but it's also cute and adorable, and I cannot stop playing it, so, expect more, I... And like I said, you know, it's my first time playing this game, so my voice, uh, so the the narrator might be the good guy in all this, and the fox might be truly evil. I don't know. I honestly do not know. But just just watch the previous video, watch the previous video, watch this video, and make your own opinion about it. But that's just my personal opinion. You know, but uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.